Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we'll be talking about one of the most fascinating and unique creatures on the planet, the Gharial. This reptile, also known as the Gavialis gangeticus, is native to the rivers of South Asia and is an important part of the ecosystem. But what makes the Gharial so special? Let's find out. The gharial is a critically endangered species, with only a few hundred left in the wild due to habitat loss, hunting, and pollution. But what makes this reptile so unique is its appearance. It has a long, slender snout filled with sharp teeth that allow it to catch fish with ease. The gharial can grow up to 6 meters in length, making it one of the largest crocodilians in the world. But despite its large size and fearsome appearance, the gharial is actually quite gentle and docile, preferring to avoid humans whenever possible. Gharials, with their long, slender snouts, are masters of patience when it comes to hunting. They can wait for hours for the right moment to strike. This teaches us about the virtue of patience in our lives. Just as gharials wait for the perfect time to catch their prey, we should patiently wait on the Lord and trust in His timing for our plans and desires. But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. Romans 8 verse 25 Gariel's unique physical features, especially their long snouts, showcase God's intricate design in nature. Their distinctiveness reminds us to appreciate and marvel at God's creativity and wisdom in creating all living creatures. For by him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. Colossians 1 verse 16 Gharials are known for fiercely protecting their nests and young from potential threats. This highlights the importance of guarding and caring for our families. It parallels the biblical principle of providing and protecting for our loved ones, as a reflection of God's love and care for his children. But if anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for members of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. 1 Timothy 5 verse 8 Gharials take years to reach maturity and fulfill their role in the ecosystem. This teaches us the value of having a long-term vision and being patient in pursuing our goals. Just as gharials patiently grow and contribute to their environment over time, we should have faith that God's plan for our lives unfolds gradually. The promise given in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for peace and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Gharials often bask in groups, demonstrating the importance of community and cooperation. They work together to protect their territory and young. This reminds us of the significance of unity within the body of Christ. We are called to support one another, share burdens, and work together to fulfill God's purposes. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Hebrews 10 verses 24 to 25. But the gharial is not just important for its appearance. As a top predator in its ecosystem, the gharial plays a vital role in keeping the balance of the river's food chain. Its diet consists mostly of fish, but it also helps control populations of other animals that prey on fish, like birds and other reptiles. Gharials are critically endangered due to habitat loss and hunting. Their plight reminds us of our responsibility to be good stewards of God's creation. We are called to care for and preserve the environment, just as God entrusted us with the earth. We have to remember that, the earth is the Lord's, and everything in it, the world, and all who live in it. Psalm 24 verse 1 In conclusion, the gharial is an amazing creature that deserves our attention and protection. As Christians, we are called to be stewards of God's creation and to care for the animals that share our planet. Let us pray for the protection and conservation of the gharial and all of God's creatures, so that future generations can continue to marvel at their beauty and diversity. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from Gariels and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching.